Well, hello. <laughs> and sorry, dear. So, I said last year I did the Year of Zelda, where I played through every Zelda game. We started off with Zelda 1 and ended off with Zelda 2, even though we never beat it. We're, what, three hours in? It took me, what, nine hours? Yeah. Zelda 2 did not go well for me. I'll just say it. I'll just put it like that. <laughs> <coughs> but for 2019, we're doing something a little differently. Now, I have been predicting for a while now that the new Metroid game, Metroid Prime 4, is coming out this year. So, I thought it made sense to play previous Metroid games. That's the theme of this year. Te I mean, I'd, I'd be lying if I say I wasn't much... Le the year of Zelda was inspired entirely by Mark Brown. So, I'd be lying if this year of Metroid wasn't also. But a far less... Because, again, the main thing is Metroid Prime 4. With a little bit of Hollow Knight, just because I played that game last year. And it really got me to like Metroidvanias. Now, I'm... An not expecting much from this game it's metroid one it's the first of its kind more more or less we'll be doing super metroid hopefully my goal is to get this done in like three weeks so we can do super metroid like starting in february but yeah metroid one i i i know i know very little about the game i know next to nothing because my experience with metroid i ha i didn't own this game on nes but i've had it on like virtual console but I've never played that far into it. I own, um, I owned M Metroid 2. Um, emergency, defeat the Metroid at the planet Zebus. Destroy the mother brain, the mechanical life thing, galaxy federal, whatever. <coughs> but I owned, so I owned Metroid 2 and I did beat Metroid 2. It took me maybe 10 years to beat as a kid. Nah, probably 10, maybe like eight years to beat. Just like playing it off and on, restarting dozens of times, just as a kid, right? But I did beat it, and I do like Metroid 2. The only other Metroid game I've ever played is Other M, which I like, but that's kind of controversial, weirdly enough. I, you know, that's one I should replay. I haven't played it since it came out. I don't know what to expect from this game, admittedly. I know... Because, again, this is the first of its kind. My expectations are low, and I'm expecting I'm going to struggle. I do have a walkthrough pulled up. It's just some Wikipedia walkthrough, because there isn't a Zelda dungeon equivalent of Metroid, uh, of, for Metroid, as far as I can tell. Even though I wish there was, because... Zelda, dun Zelda dungeon's great, what can I say? So I, I, again, I don't know what to expect. Can I, I don't think I can shoot down. Pretty sure I can't. the health I can get. we're looking for the missiles or something <laughs> I'm having flashbacks to playing Hollow Knight just earlier because I just played Hollow Knight last year. Okay. Ugh. 
Okay, okay, let's go up. Oh, I could use that. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we were going in circles. So I'm pretty sure we're going in circles. Okay, there is actually something up here. Let's, I guess, see what's in here first. I, like I said, I have a walkthrough, but if I have to use it, I'm... I don't want to use it, but if I get stuck, I will. Oh, and I didn't mention this at the beginning, but I am playing on the NES Classic Edition. Um, it's also, if you have the, uh, it's also virtual console, like, everywhere. But if you have the, um, Nintendo Switch Online, you can play Metroid there. They also have an e easy edition, but that's stupid. Oh, shit. Ah, crap. Death one. About one. <laughs> really, it's not that big of a deal. I am not going to remember that. So all I know is we're looking for missiles. Literally anything else outside of that is totally possible. There weren't, there, there wasn't a red guy here earlier, was there? I don't think there was. Because I think we need bombs to blow those up. Slow and steady. I will take all the health, though. Come on. Let's head down this time, because up took forever. Oh, well, shit. Guess we're stuck heading up. Come on. I already said my expectations are low, right? Just because first Metroidvania ever made. I know they get good with Super Metroid, but this ain't Super Metroid. Even though I've never played Super Metroid. Never played this one either. I'll take more health. I wonder what's up. Took a lot less time to get up the first, the second time. Okay, there's something over here? Ooh, music changed. Come on. That sucker's just gonna respawn, isn't it?
Take more health. Okay, I need missiles to get past that. So we can either keep going up. Or let's just keep going up. Because screw it, I have nothing better to do. We're probably... I Now, I did miss out. Usually I like to stream every Friday. But because of things... I didn't get around to it yesterday because, well, I started college again. But hey, I'll start up again tomorrow. Or, well, I don't, I mean, I have the weekend off, but fr streams will continue to be on Friday. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that's hinting me that that's the wrong way to go. Like, that's just the game, like, subtly telling me. Take the health back. I'm assuming this is not where I should have. Yep. This is definitely the wrong place. Don't think there's fall damage, but that can hurt. Okay, we went down there. So this must be where we have to go. Don't know if we have to go up from here. Based on the color palette change, I'd assume we were going into like a different area because now it's like gold. But knowing, knowing this game being the first Metroidvania and all that jazz, that th rules like that didn't exist yet really. Yeah. So we're going to try this room. Oh. Missiles. We got the missiles. Yes. Score. I just took a stab in the dark. Oh god. So it seems like these guys freeze whenever I grab something. I, You know, I hate any game that does this, like, beeping noise when you get on low health. Super annoying. Pokemon, Pokemon's my, Pokemon and Zelda. Ugh, super annoying. So, now we're down here? I do not know if this is where we're supposed to be. I've just just taking a random guess. I feel like it isn't. Come on. No! I'll take a missile tank. I think that's a missile tank upgrade. It allows me to hold more or something. And I die. Oh, shit. My, my freaking uh, Washington Monument. Passcode. Oh, okay. So we're starting back here. This is 
there's a 90% chance this is the wrong area to be in. I'm just gonna say it like it is. Like a 90% chance. Because I know one of the main problems with this game is that it opens up there. Like, once you get the missiles and the whatnot, the game opens up, like, very quickly. Gosh dang it. Um, I feel like this is a bombable wall. Yeah, that's, this is definitely a bombable wall that I can bomb, but because I don't have bombs, I can't do that yet. We're going to die a lot. Has it really only been, I feel like it's been way longer than 17 minutes. I guess not. Again, we're only going to go for like an hour. Maybe two. Yeah, maybe an hour and a half. I don't have as much time. Because college is going to be busy, man. Shit. Also, I know there is also... Is it called Zero Mission? Which is the Game Boy Advance remake of this game, which I did consider doing. But at the end of the day, um, I might as well just do the original. You know... That could, that is definitely something. Oh God. Shit. No, I can't get up there, can I? Nope. Okay, let's try down here, then. Unless this is where I came in from. Doesn't look like it, actually. And I die. I have no... I'm assuming I'm in a different area. I'm assuming I'm in, not Noifair, but, like, one of the other areas. And, like, this definitely isn't where I should be. Just assuming... It's honestly not that bad of an assumption. Oh, shit. Okay. Nope, I died. I died. I'll probably head back. I'll give this like another try or two, and then we'll head back up to, um, do we start off? We don't start off. Where do we start off in? Not Neufair. I also usually, when I do like these old NES games, I usually have the manual pulled up. I do not have the manual pulled up, so literally, I, I have no idea. God, look at that slowdown. Um, I'm tempted to head back up, but I don't, I don't know if that's the right idea. We saw that one door that I'm presuming can only be opened with missiles. So that's gotta be it. Right? Um, 
Um. Yeah, let's head back up. Let's. I know we saw that one area that we presumably need missiles to get to. So we at least have one destination we can go to. Way back up. Take another missile. Oh god. Oh shit. This is this is going to suck. I don't have 70 health anymore. Oh. Actually, that makes things a lot more convenient. Still maxed out at 10. Um, I don't think we can go down there until we have the bomb, so let's not do that. Not like I need it, but I'll take it. I'm not, I'm gonna, it, the game's just gonna stop giving me health now that I can get missiles. Just you watch. Come on. Okay, there's some. There's a missile. Missile. Literally want anything other than missiles right now. Let's see. Door should be right there. But there was the one up here. We'll take more health. So I'm pretty sure we need super missiles to open the red doors. I could be wrong. trying to kill it before it hit me. Two, three. Yep. And this is gonna be... L? Oh, does it, ex it extends my shooting length. Okay. Okay, I think there was another door if we kept going up. Oh, good. That's nice. Because I think this is the top. What was... Was this the fly room earlier that I... Where I was like, I don't think the game wants us to be here yet. I feel like that was this.
So I totally get how these fly things work. Yeah. Okay. What have we got in here? Oh, this is the entrance to... 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 Raxia... Trinidad. Basically, we have to beat those two bosses to come here. Crate and other one. I could not hit. I could not make that jump worth shit. Okay, we have another password. So the only way I, because I, I still don't think going down is the right area to go to. So the only other option I can think of is we had at that first door. Is if we had left. If we just keep heading that way, I think that'll get us somewhere eventually. Hopefully. Because we still need bombs to get through this and... Yeah, because I, 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 at least I'm assuming that's bombs. That would have been nice to have those help. What you gonna do? Oh god. Okay, so if we head up from here, that should get us to where we want to go eventually. So last week I did the uh, my ten game of the year, of which I think Hall, which again I referenced Hollow Knight earlier. Hollow Knight was I want to say number two, maybe it was not. It was probably number three. But um, you know I, I it sucks. I lost some of the I lost like some of the audio for it. But um, you know what got cut out. I talked about like what I've been playing and what I've been watching and whatnot re that during that time. And you know what got cut out? The freaking adventure zone. I talked about like I gave my like thoughts on like the adventure zone from like the past like year, and uh, that got cut out because I've been binging. I've been playing Stardew Valley again in like the past like day or two, and binging the adventure zone. Still. Still really good, but um, yeah, it sucks that because I did like how I liked balance and now and how at the time I was going through dust and I have since finished dust and you know I didn't like dust at first I thought dust was eh I didn't there were some things I didn't love about it now that I finished it though. Dust actually got real, like, I, I, at the time I'd only seen, like, the first episode and a half. Finishing Dust? Yeah, no, that was really solid. Dust had a really solid ending. Just, like, once you get past the, the part, like, the first episode and a half, the rest of it was overall pretty good. And now I'm started up on Amnesty. I'm only, like, at episode eight. I think I just finished episode 8. Amnesty is... You know, it, it promises a lot. And while it does definitely have its great moments, I feel like it's underwhelming overall. Like, I I don't know. There's just something about it that 
Like, I should love Amnesty, but yet I just don't. Why, why did that bug glitch out? That's weird. Come on. Okay, we're back in one of these rooms. Anytime there's more than like four enemies on screen, the game really gets slows down on me. Got an energy tank. So that means I now I either start off with more health or I have more health or something like that, hopefully. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on! Why? Why isn't it jumping? Shit. Come on, jump. Why isn't it jumping? I guarantee you I'm jumping. My arc. So is this just death? Is this just, can I, is there nothing I can do here? Okay, wow, that was bullshit. Oh my god. Holy crap. I, I almost lost, I probably lost oh, almost 200 health just because I got stuck in the sand and no matter what I do, it wasn't coming out. Holy shit. That, that blew. I'm, I went from almost full down to 14. Ah, shit. God damn it, go back up. Yeah, that, that was getting stuck in that lava. And just, it was like, I was clearly taking the hit as I was jumping which meant I wasn't jumping high enough. At least I'm assuming that's what was happening because I should have been jumping way higher than that. Oh my God, that was bullshit. And again, I, I went from two full stacks of health and now I'm back to 30. You know, that's a that's a video game trope I do not, that, that they luckily fix in later game. most later games don't have it anymore. But a lot of, like, early ones do. The idea that, oh, if you're starting over again, we might as well start you with only, like, your starting health. Whenever you die in Zelda, you start off with three hearts. I hate that. I hate that. Personal pet peeve. What can I say? Oh, I want that. I don't know. There's just something about, like, starting off, like, oh... You're struggling to get through this part, so instead of making it easier, or instead of, like, getting you back up to more health, or starting you where you left off from where you died, like, starting you back up at full for what you have, we're going to start you off at full at the very beginning, where you were at the very beginning. Something I have, I, I think Zelda does it a lot. I don't know, I think later Zelda games fix it, but I know it's definitely in the early ones. I want to see, it might be in, I don't know, I didn't die in Twilight Princess or Wind Waker, so it might not be in those games. God damn it. Again, that's for all I know. Shit. I'll take that.
take that. Okay, this should more or less be where we left off. Or, this should get us back up. Hopefully I won't get stuck in the lava and lose another 200 health. Hopefully. I'm gonna be annoyed if I do, because that's... I just, I felt like I should have been... I, I feel like I was making that jump half of the time. But it just wasn't, like, registering. Oh, shit. That's not where I wanted. I'm trying to figure out what that sound is. Okay, we're back up to 94. No, shit. Okay, there's room one. Okay, here's the second time we gotta go through this. No! Come on! Yes. I ha Again, I have no idea what I did differently there than what I did the previous time. No idea. Okay, I think this is the last one we gotta do. No, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Shit, I was just stuck. Ah, god damn it, I hate this game. This is what I, honestly, this is more or less what I expected. Honestly, when I started off, things were going a lot smoother than I expected them to be. So now that I'm actually dying every 10 seconds, it's like, yep, that makes sense. Now the, the NES era bullshit comes in. Now, I, you know, the, like I was saying earlier, this is available on... If you have the Nintendo Switch Online service, you can play this game. But they also have it with like an... There's like a... The, so the Nintendo Online Switch Online service, which is a load of shit, it's garbage. Like it is utter trash. Unless you're, you know, honestly, it's not worth your money, really. I have it because I'm a sucker. But the thing is about the Nintendo Switch Online service is they're releasing NES games for some stupid f fucking reason. But to make it even worse, they're now putting um. They're, because NES games are hard, and that's kind of, that's, that's a, the point. Like, one of the things Nintendo's, I, I don't remember where I heard this. But there was, like, this whole thing where it's like, oh, if people aren't satisfied with the difficulty in modern Nintendo games, they could always just play the old Nintendo games, because those are actually hard. Though, some of these old NES games are harder than any Dark Souls you'll ever play, right? So the thing was, oh, if you're right, if you're not happy, but of course Nintendo recognizes that their old NES games are hard, so to to fix it for their modern baby audience, because you know kids were able to. I mean, I, I joked earlier that it took me eight years to figure out the uh, Metroid Two, which is true, but I figured it out. Again, it, it's probably it's probably not eight years, and I'm probably still overestimating it. It just, it took me a long time, and I restarted the game almost every year. I haven't, I, I've only ever, I've only ever, I have not played it once since I beat it. But yeah, they, so they've been releasing versions of their game with, like, baby modes, or, not baby modes, that, that's mean. They're calling them, like, special modes, because I understand why people would want to be able to, like, beat these games, because they're pieces of Nintendo history, and... I mean, if you saw uh, last week when we did uh, two uh, two week two three weeks ago now, when we did um, Zelda to the Adventure of Link, and I died about a thousand times, not an exaggeration. I probably did die. Nah, I probably died only a few hundred in Death Mountain. 
and whatnot. But yeah, no, I get why people want to be able to beat these games. But I just think the way Nintendo's, like, the... the like, the special mo edition mode for The Legend of Zelda, for example, how they did that one, was they literally just picked items out of the world, and you started off with them. So you started off with, um... What, what are some of those? I want to say they started you off with the candle, and the, um... They, they just started you off, right, to make the game easier for you to start, because the game starts hard, or at least that's what I'm assuming they're going for... And they're, like, I would not be surprised if the Zelda starts off with, like, the Morph Ball with the bombs and whatnot. Or it starts off with the, um... Oh, God. If it starts you off with the Morph Ball and the bombs, and it maybe starts you off with some missile tanks, gives you the first E-Tank, right? It would not surprise me. I haven't actually checked it out. And I'm still playing on the NES Classic Edition just because I actually own the sucker. And I, it's worth justifying. And I might as well use it whenever I can to justify the money I spent on the sucker. Which, it was... I did buy... I did. I was luckily able to buy it for retail price, which was nice. The things are no longer in production. But if you have one... Yeah, and they're still easy to find. Like, I've been able to walk into my local... I want to say it was a Walmart? I want to say I walked into my local Walmart and was able to find one. So they're not impossible to find by any means. Oh, of course. And I mean, this is nowhere as near as bullshit as, say, Ninja uh, Gaiden. Which is, like, frankly impossible. Because, like, yeah, there's some bullshit enemy spawn, but... It's nothing impossible, because, like, Ninja Gaiden, for example, spawns 100 and Like, it will infinitely respawn enemies as long as you're standing in a certain spot, and those certain spots are usually where you need to go to progress the game. That's just the kind of game Ninja Gaiden is. It was bullshit back then, and it's still probably bullshit now. You know what I've been keeping? So, I've said before, I'm actually, I'm an amiibo collector, but I'm missing, like, two, I'm missing Wii Fit Trainer. And I know Wii Fit Trainer is, like, was in a recent batch of, like, amiibo reproductions. Like, it recently went, like, back in October. So, I was figuring, oh, it's going to go into, it's going to start being available on store shelves soon. And it, that hasn't happened yet. So I'm like, any day now, I'm going to turn on that clock. I'm going to check my tweets, and it's going to be like, oh, yeah, Wario64 has posted that um, uh, Wii Fit Trainer went up. I know Cloud and Lucina are going up on the 15th. So is that was that bombs? Yep, that's bombs. I, I don't have the bomb jump yet. You know, that was actually, I was, you know, when I was a kid playing Metroid 2, I figured out the bomb jump. And then, like, way later in life, during, like, le for learning, watching, like, speedruns and whatnot, I learned that the bomb jump is actually, like, a speedrunning technique. But I remember doing it as a kid. Like, being like, oh, yeah, this just makes sense to do. I haven't done it in years, admittedly. Pro probably since I last played Metro 2, because I don't think Other M had bomb jumping. Okay, we can't go any higher without the ice beam. So that gives us two options. Back down here or up. Okay, so we... Okay, so we can now go down that one area. We can go down that shaft we saw earlier with the bombable floors. Presumably, anyways. Or we can go back to... I'm just overshooting it. Shit. God damn it, stop overshoot- stop shooting the shit. Or we can go back to, um, what's the area called? 
Or we can go back down to that below area. Because I know there are, like, three bosses we need to fight. And that one dead-end wall we came out, I think that now that we have the bombs, we can actually get through there, which is nice. So that's also definitely an option for us. I am probably going to die, but honestly, I, I give such little shits right now. And I could always save scum the shit out of this. I do have um, save scum available for me. Because this is NES Classic. Even, even, if, I wish they, you know, again, I call bullshit on um, the NES's Classics Rewind function. Or on, on um, not the NES Classics Rewind. Uh, the Nintendo Entertainment Online service has, um, like, a co-op thing that doesn't actually have co-op play most of the time. I mean, it does in some cases. But for the most part, it's just like, hey, look at this stupid thing we can do. Right, for the most part, it sucks. Right, because, or, like, like for, like, instead of, like, taking Zelda, the original Zelda, and adding, say, like, being able to, like, play against friends, or being able to have, like, two players on the screen at once, instead, all the multiplayer in Zelda 1 adds is you can clap and watch your friend play. That's stupid and bullshit. It should be, if you're going to add online to these NES games, do something cool with it. Come on, Nintendo. Come on, Reggie. Shit. We'll make our way through here eventually. But right. But I, I, the whole NES online system, I don't, I still stand by. It's not a bad idea. The only problem is more games. No, they're adding what? Two, three, they added two this month. I want to say they just added two like two days ago or something. Or they're, right, it's no any SNES games, it's just NES, and it's only two. No, within the first year of the service, you should have every NES game ever made. You see what I'm saying? But no, that's not what they're doing. That's, ah, oh shit. God damn it, I can't bomb jump yet. Right, but th so they should have more NES games. Just because have them all. You have this giant library of classic games that people love. Actually freaking do something with it. God damn it, Nintendo. But, right, like, and I know Nintendo, and if I had to guess why Nintendo do, do what they do, it's because they fear that releasing an NES game is going to interfere with the sales of, like, I don't know, Kirby does his taxes. That's their big fear, that these NES games... But nobody treats it like that, especially when you're releasing fucking Ice Climbers. Come on, Nintendo. Um... If I didn't know any better, I'd say this is the entrance to Kraid. Because that's how it works, and that's... I know from Super Metroid Speedruns, that a scary face like that is the layer is Kraid's layer. So I'm expecting Kraid's layer. Shit. Okay, this is definitely not the right place to go. Um We'll take one more stab down here, and then we'll move on to whatever's next. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, I know. This is, this is killing me way too fast. It, the slowdown also doesn't help. I honestly cannot... I always complain about the slowdown whenever I do something on the NES Classic. And I always wonder, was the slowdown always there? Like, if I go and boot up my original NES, which I don't have anymore, that's a that's a story for another day. Would the slowdown still be there, or is that just something that's like 
modern, like, because of how modern TVs and modern bullshit works, that, that's why it's there. Oh, shit. Okay, so I can go back to Neufair, or I, I've been calling the area Neufair, that's probably not what it is. Or I can head to Craig's Lair. Ooh, can I do that? Hmm. Okay, so I can do that. Okay, so let's um. I, I have I opened up the walkthrough to kind of get a glimpse at well, what's next. And it's given me a good idea of what, like, what might not be a bad idea to do. But, of course, it's back where we just were, so I have to run all the way back. Oh, I can destroy these blocks from underneath. Okay, cool. Come on. There we go. So we have to head back this way. We don't need the ice beam or the high boots. So where I just was is where I have to go. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I've got so I know where I'm more or less going for the moment. We're going to head back down there, but I'm going to get something over here first. Because whether or not this is the right area to go to, I'm going to do it anyways. Because why not? I, I don't know where I'm doing what I'm doing, so that means I can do anything. The world is my cloister. You know, I legitimately, I don't get that saying. The world is, a, is your oyster. Is, is that how it goes? Is that like referencing like, is it oysters that have pearls or is that clams or? Is that what it's? Ooh, that's a good question. The world is your oyster. Well, yeah, what does that mean? I should look up that. I should look that up. This would be where I normally ask it to Google. Because I ha- you know, I know everyone has like the Alexa thing. But it's just not- I don't know. I don't use Amazon enough to really like justify having an Echo. But I have the Google one because I do do a lot of stuff through Google. I'm like, yeah, no, I'll just get the Google one. And I, ju I just don't use it that much. Or at least as much as I'd like. I Just because, I mean, they're, they're nothing more than, like, novelty devices. Let's be real here. And, well, it's basically bringing a wiretap into your home, but... Pff, eh. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure... So, we just saw, like, where we were. There was, like, an enemy underneath us. I'm pretty sure that's a hint at, like, where we're supposed to go. To, or, to hint at us that there's something down there. And now that we have the bombs, we can actually do that thing. Oh, God damn it. God. Okay, so if we come in here... Okay, 
Okay, so if we bomb. Okay, there it is. And then down in here... Oh, shit. Come on. Okay, so there's something down here. Oh, that's bullshit. Ah. Oh, that's bullshit. I made it all the way over there just to be killed by an enemy going through that go th through the door as I go through it. Ah. That's dumb. That's so dumb. I'm pretty sure this is the ice beam. If I had to, like, that just seems right. But I am supposed to come down here to Craig's lair. Like, we might end up, if I can get to Craig, we might end off with me beating Craig, if that makes a lot of sense. Or at least just how I'm looking at it, if that makes sense. Who's my goodest boy? Who's my goodest boy? Who's salty? You're super duper, you're a salt machine. Do you know that? You're a salt machine. You're the goodest boy. Oh, who's my goodest Thales? Who's my goodest Thales? Who's my goodest Thales? Well, yes, you're the goodest girl. Okay. Hate that they get stuck. That's like super paranoid. Okay, now we head back up. Every time there's like four enemies on screen.
Give me one second. Okay, I had to go deal with the goodest boy. You know, so I, so just to turn off the mic there, I had to press the button three times. I hear, I hear a weird spot. God damn it, I didn't pause it. So that maybe, so I know I, last week I did it, and I came back, I paused it, or I paused the mic, came back and the mic didn't turn back on and I was like what's going on because I, I must have talked for like 20 minutes before realizing it I bet that's what happened was I turned it on and then it just didn't turn back on because I just had to press it four times so the buttons like the mute buttons probably breaking hate that placement. That is the worst placement. Right there. So you can't get it until you take the leap. I think it's right here. That should have smoothed it out a little bit. Yep, because that's a dead end. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the ice beam is past here. This wasn't actually that hard of a room, even though some of the enemy spawn is bullshit. Because it's right up against the wall. Like, right there. Okay, this is still open. Good. This is Ice Beam? I think this is Ice Beam. Yep, that's Ice Beam. All right. And now we can get up here or go wherever. Just makes our life so much easier. Come on. Why? I know I can do this. Come on. 
Come on. Okay. I got hit. But I'll take uh, I'll take the hit. That one's one I would prefer to have avoided. And there's my death. You know, it puts us closer to where we started, so... It's not that big of a deal. So I'm pretty sure this is more or less the first area. Let's actually create our first safe scum. Why not? Ah, shit. So now I think we're heading down here. I feel like it takes more hits to kill now, but we're back down here at Kraid's Lair. Um, I have no idea where Kraid is. I have no idea where we're going from here. Or Kraid's Hideout, I guess it's called. Eh. We'll figure it out. Okay. Eventually you're going to drop something. Come on! <laughs> you need to get them to drop an item because that stops them from spawning. But there, I just saw a missile tank right there, so I'm not far off. At least I don't have to track back from the very beginning. Like, at least this game has the sensibility to start me off right here. But everything here does kill me in one hit. Which does kind of suck. Oh god damn it. Of course I missed the stupid jump. Why didn't I try shooting the guy? What's the, What is it? I want to... Is that the game? I want to be the guy? Is that one of those really hard like platformers I feel like that's one of those like stupid hard platformers There's five more missiles. Oh! I kind of hate this game. Have I said that before? I hate that it does shit like that. 
where if I'm going through a door, it just kind of kills me. Ugh. Okay, so over here was what death? I can't shoot up fast enough to hit those guys. I just fall to my death. I'd love to beat Kraid. We beat Kraid tonight. We take on Ridley next time. We beat Ridley next time, and maybe we beat the game even. Oh, God damn. These things just kill me in one hit. I have to... I need, like, an armor upgrade. <laughs> or... Again, I wish I started off with, like, 99 health. You know, I bet Super Metroid's gonna do the same thing, though, where it's gonna start me off with 30... Shit. Uh, God, this is going to be my hell. I don't even know how bad Kraid's going to be. Because I start off with 30 health. Oh god, there's another missile tank right there. If only I can get if I can get pa if I can survive the flies. Kill the guy up top. Cuz all I have to do is get one of the flies to drop an item and that ends their spawn pattern. Come on, drop something. Fuck, those things have a lot of health. I could just, actually, in theory, I could just freeze it once and then move on. I just have to hit it once. That's not a terrible idea. Note to self, not a terrible idea. My god. These things either have a lot of health. No! Of course, I, I get it and I miss the freaking jump. Because I'm a sucker. <sighs> I'll figure it out. I I I can't. I know exactly what I have to do. I just gotta get lucky enough. Nope. Cause I'm just not. I wish I could freeze these guys, but by the time I'm falling, that one's already hit me. So there's no. I just have to run by it and either tank the hit or just get lucky.
No. No. I bomb jump bursted myself into the freaking ah. I think I'm up to I'm up to what? 15 missiles? Hit it fast enough. I. <sighs> this sucks. This sucks. Because I know exactly what I got to do. It's just if I, I'm one shot and I'm dead. There's no way to get more than 30 health coming into this. I wish I could also avoid that guy. That one's also like the worst just because that second one I can't avoid it. And I know I couldn't like strafe. I just rolled, I rolled too far. I can totally get this missile upgrade. This is not hard to do. This is a missile upgrade. I don't know if super missiles are in this game, admittedly. I don't think so. But I could totally be wrong. Okay, that should get me up to 15. Or tw I should have just made a run for it. I don't know, I got that room done with. So I think I'm up to 20 missiles. Ugh. I should be anyway. <sighs> this is going to be much of the same, isn't it? I feel like I should have some sort of upgrade here, but, ugh, God. I just want to start with more health. I feel like getting that first E-Tank should start me off with 99. But nope, nope. Of course. Of course. I, this is going to be a lot of death. I, I don't even know what Crave's got in store. All I know is I'm going to die a lot. And of course, everything kills me so fast that I don't even have a chance to kill anything to build up, like, health. trying to move faster than it was what was that starlink battle for atlas 30 bucks um at best buy i i think i saw it for 30 bucks at target even you know i if it goes down to 20 i'd, I'd do it and i know the game's supposed to be like 80 that's how bad it bombed you know what i am considering buying if it goes down cheap enough the uh
Is it the PlayStation Classic? I think it's the PlayStation the PlayStation Classic, you know that piece of shit. If it goes down for I know so, for some people the magic number is 20, for me I think it's 30. God damn. These thing I d ugh. And I don't even know where I'm going in here. I'm just literally just slamming my head against the wall until eventually one of these wall rooms is going to work out. I mean, it could be either one of these for all I know. So I do have 20. Okay. What's down here? more rooms it's gonna be another one of these these are I bet these are all in uh, missile silos these are probably all either energy tanks or some shit mm. oh god Well, I think the only door we didn't try was one, uh, this left. I don't think I've done this one. Oops, one extra. It's like, I know there's something over here. Oh, shit. Ooh. Um, do I have to bomb birth my way in there? Ah, crap. This isn't going to be pretty. This, that's another E-Tank, which is nice. Again, I wish it bumped my max. This isn't pretty. Uh, you know, of course, they miss me every time, but the second I enter the hole... Oh, fucking course. Does that really surprise anybody? Does that really surprise you? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Okay, so if I had to take a guess at how I'm supposed to do this. It's like that. Thank you. 
Okay, here we go. I don't know why that's down there. Why does this always happen to me? Of course it hits me, even during the... I'm assuming that in, fu right, in future games, the doors are going to be invincibility frames. That's not how it's going to work here, though. Let's freaking safe scum this shit. Ugh, oh, God. Okay. Oops. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> I mean, I think I can get back up. Thank goodness for Ice Beam. You know what book I'm already thinking of super early on into the year? Scott Pilgrim. If you've never read it, I highly recommend it. Great little... Okay, I'm doing literally... Shit. I mean, I'm already thinking about it this early on, on into the year. That's... Come on. Shit. Oh, God. It's gonna hit me. Fuck! That's bullshit. Oh, my God. I, I'd have to just assume that's an oversight. Because there's no way, right? That door should be invincibility frames. You shouldn't have to clear out. And now I'm back down to fucking 30 hell. Shit. And there's no way to get it back up to that without just killing everything. Oh my god, I hate this game, man. I'm already... <laughs> These things do 20 damage. Holy shit. Holy shit, mate. 20 fucking damage for one cotton picking slug. Okay. Mm. I know exactly where Craig's layer is. Like, I know, I, I have a great idea of where I'm going, but. Holy shit, is this... It's just because I can't build up health. Every time I die, I start back with zero. So that makes it impossible. Well, you know, 30. That's what, three hits and I'm... I'm fucking dead. This is, and this isn't exactly where I need to go, but I, th this is where I more or less want to go. I went to shoot and I just, it just didn't shoot. Fuck me. You know, and I keep killing them. I could just freeze them in place. But that's just so much harder to do. Plus, I still have hopes that I'm going to get the freaking... 
Of course, the one time I kill, I kill it, this sucker respawns. Honestly, I don't really, with, with the fact that I don't respawn with 99 health, I don't get the point of energy tanks. Like, like they are of considerably less use if I'm always going to be dying. Shit! Because I know this is exactly where I'm supposed to be going. Well, I mean, more or less. I just have to make it through this insanely long room. Okay. Okay, okay, we can do this. There's only... I just have to get past this room with all these little buggers and that'll get me exactly where I need to be. Fuck off. Fuck off, game. See, this is exactly what I expected. The one time it's not in my shoot path. So I'm, I'm assuming Samus is two and like, I, I think she'd be two blocks tall. Like, look, that's two, maybe, is that, or is that three blocks? No, that looks to be two, but yet I feel like that guy hit me from like a third block. So this guy only spawns if I kill the top one. They're all giving me missiles. I don't need missiles. Okay, I need a little bit of missile. I would love to grind off of these suckers, but... So if I that that seemed to be working the jumping and ducking, but I have no idea for how long. Nope, nothing. Nothing. You cocksucker. Nothing again. Why aren't any of these suckers giving me health? No, no, shh. God damn it. Fuck. Okay. Oh, I need high jump boots. Shit. Okay, I, I did not know I needed high jump. <clears throat> Why are all the rooms like this? Because I can never get past the second one without taking a stupid hit. Ah, God, I hate this game, man. 
we're going for another what tw 20 minutes and then we're calling it i don't care if i don't beat Crade. it doesn't matter it's bullshit that none of these guys are dropping anything i hate that so much okay i'll take some health Come on! Why isn't it working? Why? It, it, that makes no sense. Like, sometimes it works fine. That was... that I was starting off great with that run, but nope. I had to take the shit and hit. And god damn it. Killing these guys sucks as well. Nothing. I expect nothing, and yet somehow I'm still disappointed. I also have no idea what does the spin, like, the, the spin, the, sc not screw attack. Just whatever does the spin. Because the spin is most definitely higher, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. Or at least that's how it feels like it is. I think it's something to do with me moving, but I don't know at this point. A needed missile. Nothing. I'll take some health. Ugh, God, I'm tired. Honestly, it's it's too soon to start up colleague again. Like ugh. Going to this room. Fuck me. This is not what I wanted. God. Damn it! Why do they keep... Because you can't hit that second enemy. You'll always take a fucking hit. I finally get where I'm wanting to go, and no. Because you can't hit that thing. I mean, your, your reaction time is too slow to hit the second guy, because half the time, going left, it just doesn't want to point up. Shit, man. God damn it, this should... It's not that this is easy, but, like, I just hate this. And then none of the enemies want to drop shit.
I just want to go back to Stardew Valley. I was enjoying Stardew Valley a hell of a lot more. Where I need high jump boots. Are high jump boots somewhere in here? I need to find the high jump boots. God. That's not them. Unless I bomb bounce my way up here, I mean, I can try that. Yeah, no, I need like a high jump boot or a no, I probably need a bomb jump then. Shit. Ugh. I did that. I did that. I got them all. I wasn't able to do that. Um, okay, there's nothing I can do here. Wait. I have to go that way. I have to take that door up there and go all the way around, or else I cannot get to Kraid. <laughs> oh god, screw me. See, god damn it, these things do so much freaking help. I have to go the way I was going. I can. That room I was trying to get into is a missile tank, but if I keep going lower, there's a, um. That's the way to crate it, going down that shaft. But I need more than 30 health. 30 health just ain't gonna cut it. I mean, I could, I think I have a save scum up there with a bunch of health. So I could, in theory, use that, because there's no better way to grind. God damn it. Mother I hate this game. I hate what it's, like... The only way I can see to get health is to grind, but enemies just don't drop it consistently enough. Unless I go for the... the I always call it the Varia suit. I actually think it's the Varia suit. But I, I think all that does is protect against fire. I don't think that actually is going to like reduce damage taken or shit like that. Ugh. This 30 health thing is killing me, man. That's like my only... I've actually, you know, with the exception of this 30 health thing, I've actually been enjoying this game for the most part. Also, enemies only give me 5 health here. That's nothing. Come on. If I'm down in this area, you know I'm going to be taking more damage. So the game can ex so can game can give me a little bit more health. It's not like it's being stingy and I have the max missiles. I'm glad I got the ice beam, or else I'd be stuck here for freaking ever. Feels early to get the ice beam, because I feel like the ice beam is usually like one of the last, like an end game thing, but eh, what you gonna do? And I could theoretically grind these fly guys? I'm, I, I, uh, I need to grind. I do need, I just need to grind. 
something, but I don't know, like, where's a den of infinitely respawning enemies to give me infinite health? There, there must be, like, a quick health glitch or something. There's no save point or anything that restores my health, like Metroid 2... These enemies don't do shit for me. Damn it, it's annoying me how just little health they're giving me. Shit. Okay, I wonder if there's like a this stretch right here, if I can just run along this back and forth and maybe that'll grind me up some health. It's the only idea I have right now. Because these guys seem to consistently give stuff more or less and always got these guys at the beginning. I don't know why the game is so obsessed with giving me missiles, man. Okay. See, I can bet I can go across this stretch of land right here until I have maxed out an energy tank and whatnot. Go in here, kill these suckers. Come back out. It's cheap as hell, but hey, sometimes the only winning move is not to play. Yep, sometimes the only winning move is not to play. I know that's not how this qu that quote is used, but you get my you get my point. Because if I can tank hits, this is going to be so much easier. Like, I could probably stop right now, but eh. Give me a second. Let me just readjust my chair. Hey, how many missiles they give me. It's 
Clearly not old or reliable, but I'll take what I can get. There's one E-Tank. It is energy. It is like... I don't know if it's actually called... Because I know there are E-Tanks in Mega Man, but... Which actually... The E-Tanks in Mega Man actually work very similarly, now that I think... I mean, there's no, like, second, like, health bar, like what's here. But there definitely is, like, uh... Oh, you can use an E-Tank to get more health back. It's a very similar life system. Eventually. I'm trying to remember. There's like a quoter. What's the... There's like a Miyamoto thing where he's like, while designing Metroid... And like Mario, you go left, so he had to do something to teach the player to go right? But I don't remember what the- I mean, oh, is it something- if, if you keep going right, you'll eventually hit the dead end where you need the morph ball? Is that what it is? So that way he, it's like teaching that, oh, if you go left, eventually you'll get where you need. Is that it? Am I thinking of the same- there's some quote like, cause, like, with the like, where it's like teaching you that the mushrooms are good, but the Goombas are bad, and Mario, and like, there's all this really clever stuff from the NES when you only had like so many pixels and so many ways to do things that you had to like, they had to like be clever about it, like where you if you try to jump while under a block in Mario with the mushroom coming at you, you'll just hit it. That's how they teach you that mushrooms aren't bad, but Goomba, but Goombas are. It's clever bits of game design, and I know there's one here at the beginning of Metroid 1. Like, where it's teaching you that, hey, you can go both left and right. Okay, we're almost back. We're almost... I probably just got to do this like another 20 times. I don't need that. Too much effort. Too much time to go all the way back around and... God, this is what I've had to resort to, man. Just grinding in Metroid until I have enough health to take on Kraid and whatever else. You know we're gonna you know the worst part? Is we're gonna have to do this again before Ridley. Like before we go into Noif Nor No Nor However the hell you're supposed to pronounce it. You know, Hy Hydro City, Hydrocity. By the way, it's actually Hydro City. Just just it's not Hydrocity. No, that's that's not how English works, yo. I feel like I didn't know anyone who called it Hydrocity, though. I know since the age of the internet started, that's a different story. But, like, prior to the internet, everyone, it was just Hydro City. Because, again, it comes from the root word Hydro. So close. We've spent the past like 10 minutes just grinding. We maybe even longer. We're, we need what to kill what another 10. Got over 10 enemies, I think. Maybe a little less than 10. 
Someone who hasn't done basic, basic math in a while. Shit. It's, um, everyone gets five. It's a bunch. It's all, it's a bunch. It's more than ten. Ten may get us to, um, halfway. But because we're trying to go through them all, we might as well just do them all. Don't need the missiles. Do some give more than others? Because I feel like that one just gave 10. So that doesn't seem right. No, I think they just give 5 each. Ooh, that was not what I wanted to do, but hey, it worked, I guess. Working our way. And then I'm just going to forget everything I was doing when we started up next week. Because that is 1000% how this works. It's because I haven't killed this guy recently that I can't, um... Those guys should respawn next time just because I hadn't been killing the one. Oh my gosh, Ach Achievement Hunter put out their um, 2018 compilation. So glad they do those. Those are, anyone who makes like a best of 2018 compilation, just there's tons of great stuff that just like it's all in one place. Plus it's taking old content and are using it to make new content. But they did their best of 2018 three hours, longer than Una the movie. And I've been like, between Adventure Zone, uh, Amnesty, which... I don't. I, I, I want. I want to like Amnesty more than I do. I really do. I don't know. I'm just. Maybe there's. I'm waiting for like a click moment that just hasn't happened yet with Amnesty. But I, I'm getting off track here. Um. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not like I'm doing anything better. I um. Where was I going with that? Oh yeah, so I've been watching their best of compilation. God, it's there's some great moments. They put the fan fiction in there from Extra Life, which I, I totally f know why the fan fiction's in there, and I, I I get why people would think it's funny. I just I I think it's annoying personally, but I don't know. It's, it's not annoying. It's just hard to watch. It really is. Which I get, that's kind of the point, that's also kind of the joke. But that doesn't mean I don't like it any less. Come on, if we can get them all now. Nope. Stupid missile tanks. Okay, they've respawned. Little bugger fellas. Okay, we need to do what? Two we need three more. Okay. Yeah. One more. And I know we're gonna, and I know this is anticlimactic ending, but hey, this is the life you're stuck in. This is the hell I've entered here. Next time, we will go down. I said I was only doing two hours. We're at two hours. 
next time we will go down we will beat Kraid. i know exactly where he is and i should and i'm just gonna save scum the shit out of it until we beat Kraid. so yeah that's gonna happen we'll beat Kraid, and then we'll move on to ridley and hopefully by the end of the month we will beat metroid one in which case we will then we're skipping metroid 2 and we're moving on to super metroid i'm trying to be fast here but uh, my time is limited, especially because college has started up again, so I can only do so much. I'm taking, like, five classes on, like, Tuesday. Um, all My schedule got, like, Tuesday and Thursday loaded. Bad. Because it was the only option I had, man. But yeah, um, you know, I was expecting a lot worse. Like, I remember, much like when I started off Zelda 1, it started off actually pretty fine but then as we got into dungeons five and six it was like hell this this also kind of started fine i know i will get to a point where i will struggle and i mean it's never going to be as bad as like ninja gaiden or you know, super c these games those games are just impossibly hard castle <laughs> heck you know castlevania is not that bad i've never played double dragon Ghost, oh god, Ghost and Goblins. Oh god. Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus is a weird one. But yeah, next time. Next time we will continue on with Metroid 2. We will, we probably won't beat it next time, but we should get into, we'll beat Kraid and we'll get into Noifair. Or Norfair, or however the fuck you call it. Is HGTQ still going on? I should check that out. I, th I think it goes until tomorrow. Unless it ended today. Yes. Hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Support AGDQ. Until next time, peace.